Okay, today's lesson is really, really quick because I've shown you how to make loads of these little concertina books. So I'm just going to show you what I've done. Instead of the book that eats itself, it's this one is called the book that sees itself. So it starts with a chick and then the chick sees a worm and then there is an earwig and a spider and I've done this book weirdly because I've cut holes and then I've put the eyes behind so they fit in and then there's a snail again the eyes go in and out and then in the end there's the mummy chicken so that's one little book on that but if you open it out you can see it's all holes but behind it if I show you the other side there's lots of little eyeballs so that's that one. That was the first one I did with eyes. And then I wanted to make, I don't know why I want to make really, really tiny things. But I wanted to make a little tiny book. So this is absolutely miniature. And I thought I'd do it on mini beasts or insects. So I started with a ladybird. And then I went on to a millipede. And then there's a stag beetle, which I've never seen. And I know they're a bit bigger than that. And this is supposed to be a glowworm. And then there's a leaf shield bug and a little bee. And I've started going on the other side as well. So I've done a devil's coach horse there. And then we're back to the ladybird. So I will finish the other side, even though it's not particularly necessary. I just fancy doing a two-sided one. And I might make a wee box to put it in before I send it to somebody. So... These are little books, just using googly eyes. You could do monsters, you could do all sorts of things. That's just the ones that I've made today. Have fun. Bye.